Okay, so let's see who gets what teams in lumber. So the Kraken and, and Golden Knights, they're not um, included on our team list. Uh, just made it less spots. And it seemed like a good thing to do. So um, seven times three. We're going to random each of those seven times. If we get some of those, they'll go to random between everybody in the break. Um, if they are a Kraken card or there is a Golden Knight card that gets pulled, it goes random between everybody. If it's a multi-team card and one of the teams is a Kraken, then uh, it's considered like a dead spot. So, um, you know, we're not going to random to see who gets into a random. If you follow me there, because some of the multi-team cards go to random. And that that's, uh, we're not going to... Uh, you know that's that's just a dead spot in the people the other people who have a stake in the card get better odds okay so here we go this is our first round lucky number seven i'm probably going to include that in the description for the new box i just listed up um but uh i thought it was worth saying because there's probably a lot of multi-team cards in lumber um, where it comes down to some randoms and stuff. And that's how that works if the Kraken or Golden Knight comes up. It just gives the people who have other teams more odds, better chances. All right, here we go. Seven times through. Good luck. Lucky number seven. So there you have it. That is the result here of the randoms. Now you can see your team in the break. So good luck with the Oilers, Scott G, Buffalo Sabres, Wheels, Ho, Montreal, Scott. There's so many ways to hit big in here. So we're just excited for everybody's chances of pulling something great because somebody's going to hit something nice in lumber. Put this in alphabetical order by the team name. Let's rock and roll. See what we got here. Alright, so the first hit out of here is thing
That's right, it is Montreal. So congratulations. This one is for you. All right, Scott, that's Scott's uh, Canadians lumber. Scott G. Next up in the rim. Stick rack, two of five. Okay, so uh, Larry Robinson is Montreal and Guy Lafleur. Let's just check this is great. Hall of Famers, man. That's right. Once again, it is Montreal. That's right. So Scott G. Wow. Congratulations, man. Two of five. Nice pull. Let's see what else is coming out of here. Cheevers, another Hall of Famer. Wow. Nice autograph, Cheevers, printing plate, one of one. That's right, this is a Bruins hit. Dave, this one's for you, bro. Congrats. Signature sticks, printing plate. One of one. And now we have another Larry Robinson. Twig Sigs. Oh my goodness. Montreal. That is a Twig Sigs Larry Robinson. So nice going, man. Good things popping out of here for us. Okay, yeah, this it does look like a King's Larry Robinson. It sure does. He's got that black and white jersey. And uh, so I'm looking into that. But it, you know what? I was just also looking. It is Scott G with the Kings and Montreal. So it's going to go to Scott. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, the thing about it is, is it's not. It, it does look like a King's Uni. 
And if it was two different owners, then it would be a little tricky. I'm actually going to change the format of this and probably not going to be able to list this one right away. I'm, I'm going to look into changing the format to a checklist format because uh, a lot of times it will come down to something like this where, well, you know, if it was red and white, I mean, there's 10 teams that it could be. Uh, so we probably, we're get, this goes to Scott. There's no question about that. But I'm thinking for future breaks, it might be a little easier for us to change the format. So we'll probably have that up in a few minutes with a new format in lumber hockey. But congratulations, Scott. You did really good. Wow. Uh, Scott pulled down this thing. So, yeah, we're going to look into changing the format of this. Hopefully, I can have the format change really fast. That's what I'm not sure about is how long it's going to take me to change the format. So, uh, 